Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Beth Deer. Gonna come. Around, in, and down. Nice, good boy. There aren't many friendships like there are between dogs and people, but Marla Smith has a special bond with her dog, Kuno, that few have. Kuno is a four-year-old Rottweiler. He is a Alberta qualified service dog who assists me with, well, mostly wheelchair accessibility type issues, retrieves items for me, helps me with transfers from chair onto other surfaces, typical service dog kind of stuff. He's just unique in the sense of his size and his breed. He's on average between 125 to 135 pounds. That is quite a big dog. Why did you decide to get a dog Kuno size? Um, for a mobility dog that you're using for balance, the dog size plays a big issue. And I would need to be able to have something that I could easily reach. So I was gonna need a fairly tall dog. And that's not something you can find in the average Labrador world. I think the big thing is transferring in and out of wheelchairs. I can grab hold of a handle on his harness or put an arm around him and he can hold his balance and I can use him to support myself. Marla, you decided to self-train Kuno. Why did you do this? It was the four to six year wait time before I would likely be at the top of the wait list and then possibly be matched to a dog. And it was definitely more cost effective to work with a trainer on the things that I needed help with the trainer with and then do all the practice and repetition at home. Those many hours training and working with Kuno helped form the strong relationship between the two that still exists today. He's an extension of me. Like when I talk, I find a lot of times I say we instead of I or him because it is, it's we. I know the inside out of that dog. We have a lot of special routines. Some of those special routines include daily posts on Kuno's very own social media accounts. Kuno has over 20,000 followers. We started snapping pictures and just giving the daily dog weather as how it would apply to a dog as opposed to a person. Like, you know, when you should plan your naps and when you should plan your potty trips and it's gonna be a great day to roll in the grass. So we have a lot of fun with it. Kuno, this is important. Who loves me most? Good boy. We do a lot of lighthearted, positivity, comical type stuff. And it was an opportunity to kind of bring to light some of the problems in our system that someone like me would face. Why did you decide to use the platform to discuss disability advocacy and awareness? When I complain about the wait for a wheelchair, people tend to tune me out as a person. When I present it through the dog's eyes, it's no longer the negative person complaining that gets tuned out by people. People stop and listen to the dog. I've been able to do things like get a picture of him in front of the e-scooter on the sidewalk going, hey, we can't keep going because somebody left this in front of us. When you have the dog say it, people stop and they listen. We'd like to actually work with local businesses on things they could do to make themselves more accessible because a lot of times accessibility is just the little blue sign on the door and that means you can get in the door but it doesn't mean you can really participate in what goes on on the other side of that door. And it's Marla's special bond and partnership with Kuno that's helping provide more opportunity. It's, it's definitely a, an extremely strong bond. And I think you end up with a far deeper relationship than you get with a pet dog because you do so much together. Yeah, dog, oh boy. He's the bestest boy.